In this Easy Ed video lecture, we are going to learn introduction to C language, followed by the reasons why C became so popular, uses of C, and also learn our very first program in C. C is a general purpose high level programming language written by Dennis Ritchie in 1972. It is based on its accidents, namely BCPL and B. It was initially developed to write early versions of Unix operating system. The original PDP-11 version of the Unix version was developed in the assembly language. In 1973, C language had become powerful enough that most of the Unix kernel was rewritten in C. This was one of the first operating system kernels implemented in a language other than assembly. During the rest of the 1970s, C spread through many colleges and universities because of its close ties to Unix and the availability of C compilers. The name C is doubly appropriate as it is a success of B and BCPL. It is said that C is a fortune for system software. Just as Fortran liberated programmers from worrying about the machine on which it was to be executed, similarly C also freed its programmers from worrying about the target machine on which it was to be implemented. Let's see why C became so popular. Firstly, it's easy to learn. C is a structured language. Also, it can be compiled on a variety of computers. Plus, C programs are executed faster than the ones written in B. Lastly, C can extend itself by adding more functions. Now let's move on to uses of C. C was initially used for system development, in particular for developing the operating system. Some examples where C is used are operating systems, language compilers, assembler, text editors, print spoolers, network drivers, modern application programs, database systems, language interpreter, utilities. So let's develop a first program in C. A C program is written in an editor and saved with C extension. Let's save it with the name Hello World C. Let's type the program first. We need to understand each word of this and why it is important to be written. Line 1 is this. It is a preprocessor directive. This statement has to be included in all C programs. It tells the compiler to include the files present in the standard input output library available with the compiler in the user's program. Studio H is a header file which consists of the printf library function which we are going to use in the program to print hello world so we have to include this in the program. Line 2 is. It is also a header file. It is used to include the getch function library file in the program. Line 3 is. Main denotes the main is the name of a function. Every C program must have a main function. It informs the compiler from where the program starts. There shouldn't be more than one main in a program. Otherwise, the compiler won't know where to start the execution from. In C, data is passed between the function with the help of parameters and arguments. Parameters are passed to the called function by the calling function. As main is a function here with no argument list, so it has empty pair of parentheses. Line 4 with the opening bracket. It defines that the scope of main has started. It marks the beginning of main function. All the statements of a function are enclosed in the braces. Line 5. Printf is a library function which prints everything given to it as the argument. Printf is available in the studio edge header file. A function is called by writing its name, followed by argument list in the parenthesis. As hello world is the character string to be printed, it is given as an argument to the main function. Line 6. GetCH. This function is used to hold the output screen. GetCH function is available in the Konyo H header file, and so we have to include this header file in our program. Number include. Line 7 is the closing bracket. It indicates the end of function. 
So after typing the seven lines of the program, what's the output? The, the output is, hello world. Let's have a quick review of what we studied in this lecture. We learned that Dennis Ritchie developed C and how C evolved from BCPL and B. Then we learned the reasons why C became so popular. Lastly, we developed our first C program.